Russian soldiers come and go around Crimea, leaving everyone to guess their next move. But few imagined that they would abandon some of their positions. They left at midnight. We don't know why or where they went. They're still in some bases, and in others they're being replaced by so-called self-defense units who are still Russians. On Wednesday, the soldiers were inside this Ukrainian Air Force base near Sevastopol. Armed men had stormed it in the dead of the night and sabotaged the missile defense system. There are so many questions about who these men are. Well, this might give a clue. It's a food ration box. It says Russian Army. It is the flag of the Russian Federation. Behind it says military trade, and on this side, not for sale. So one can confidently say that Russia is at least putting its full weight behind these men. Moscow is also backing the new regional government. This scenario was not written in Crimea, it was written in Moscow. The regional government is like a newborn kitten that doesn't know what the next step will be. They are told what to do, but they don't know the plan. The MPs didn't know they'd be voting for the cessation when they went to parliament. While the new unelected government is rushing to gain legitimacy, it still has to do it under protection of its closest ally. These are Russian Cossacks, who crossed into Crimea a few days ago through the Strait of Kerch, now deployed near the regional parliament. They have the right to decide on their destiny like any other people. We are staying until the referendum. We were invited here by the Cossacks of Crimea to help maintain order. Major Maxim says he was ashamed when the soldiers entered his base. Now they are gone and his unit is building new defenses. Whether the commander and his men can build a defense to withstand a yes vote for Crimea to join Russia is entirely a different matter. Hodab Hamid, Al Jazeera, Crimea.